Hi, David O'Dell here. We're doing a little bonus stepping stones along with this patio we're gonna be doing. I happened to be at Goodwill the other day and I ran across these and I got this whole bag of these glass beads for a dollar at the Goodwill. So I'm gonna throw these in the concrete today. So if you notice we're pumping this in that's because we're doing a lot more concrete on this particular project but if you wanted to just do these stepping stones as a, like a diy project any uh pre-mix bag stuff the local hardware supply will, will work fine all right we got the concrete in here now we just got to flatten it out a little bit we're just going to do that with a hand float fiberglass hand float and it's okay if we're a little bit low too, really, because we're gonna be throwing all these glass beads in there. If we're a little low, it's gonna come back up a little when we put the glass beads in. All right. Now the fun part, we'll just spread them. It's a little wet, really. You can wait a little longer on this. You can see how they're sinking way down just by dropping them. We'll just do this one. We'll do this one early and we'll wait on the next one and go a little bit later. Because I'm going to lose a lot of glass. This is pretty wet right now. So a lot of it's dropping down deep. Never to be seen again. I just want the stuff on the top really. This, is gonna, this process that we're doing is going to take at least four hours minimal. 70 degree weather no sun about you know four hours four to six this is an hour later after the initial lay down we've already put a glass coating on the first stepping stone and this one here we're gonna go with just like a lazy river pattern going through it of, of the glass so I'm gonna draw it out first the pattern we're gonna try to get just start here we'll just do a lazy s start right here just try to maintain that there we go see how we have that little shape there and that's going to be the glass area now the tricky part getting the glass where i want it have to take my time on this get it just right whoops see that Almost messed up. This is kind of setting them so they don't move around on me. All right. All the glass is gone tap it in we'll try to get this all the way flush so we don't want these to fall out later we're gonna actually bury them and then what we'll do later we'll expose them by rinsing with water and we'll do that probably in about three hours. So right now all the cream's going over these glass beads. The glass has disappeared. The interesting part is to see when it comes back when we do the rinse. All right, we're back on it. Now it's three hours later. And we're gonna be troweling it one more time and edging it. So you, can, you notice that uh, the glass beads aren't popping. The cream's not really popping off of them. 
as much as they were earlier because it's a little drier now. Once we can get a perfectly smooth finish and you can't see those beads starting to pop, see the little rock pockets on top of, like if we were to clean this off, see there's the glass. So what's happening because it's still a little wet to get your final trowel is the rocks, the cream's just kind of rolling off the top when you pass a trowel over it. So basically it's just too wet. Edging gets a little easier right now as far as holding it flat and level. All right, we're back on it again four hours later. This should be my final pass. I'll just edge it, trowel it one more time, then I'm going to let it set another hour. So we'll be a good five hours total into this. But once I do the rinse, I'll give you another timeline on that. So here we go. All right, how many hours are we into it now? Let's take a look here. Four, four and a half hours. Let's see if it's ready. I'll just put a little water on it. Start with loosen it up. Loosen it up with this horsehair broom. Get it loosened up. Do another light rinse. See where we're at. Oh, look at that fiber mesh coming up. All right, that was pretty interesting how that fiber fiber mesh just rolled off the top. That's when you know it's actually in there when you can see it. So I ended up going with a nylon brush, a little bit stiffer, because I kind of I almost waited too long to rinse this actually. I mean, I could have went about another 15 minutes early, but it's better late, you know, than early, because if you go early, all these beads will just fall out and you'll have a real mess. So I had to scrub a little bit harder because I went late, but you know the beads are well embedded and uh, they're not coming out. Once we do all this rinse, we'll let it dry overnight. We'll come back the next day, strip the forms, separate them, give it a good cleaning, and we'll seal them. The nice thing about these stepping stones, if you're considering doing something like this on your own at home, you don't really need a concrete truck and a pump hose and all that. You can do it with some typical bag mix, you know, quick crete. Any bag mix, concrete premix will work just fine. All right, second day. We just uh, stripped the forms on this. Now I'm just gonna brush it, get any residue off of it. It might still be on these glass beads. Okay, we did this pretty quick. Second day, we're going with the sealer. Um, we didn't do the muratic acid wash. We didn't neutralize it. We skipped all that. Went straight to the brush. Now we're gonna go right to the sealer. Available at Home Depot. Roll it around. Typically, you can't really seal this stuff the next day, especially a large area. So what happens is the water wants to evaporate out of the concrete. If you have water trapped in the concrete, it gets stuck between the sealer and the surface of the concrete, and it turns milky white. But in this case, since the concrete areas are so small, and they can breathe all the way around it, 
we can displace any moisture out the sides that's my hope anyway we'll find out long term but I'm pretty sure we're good here the sealer does a couple things really it's not just to make it nice and bright and shiny and beautiful but it's also to preserve the entire surface so i imagine if you did high usage on a surface like this with these beautiful glass marbles they could get dull by wear and scuffing them but if you keep a nice sealer on it it should last forever that's our goal make it last forever every time thanks for watching and have fun